Manhattan College head coach Steve Massiello, who, whose school is taking on the very Louisville Cardinals that he himself used to coach, uh, uh, playing against a, a coach and Coach Patino that he used to play for while at Kentucky. Coach Massiello, first of all, congratulations on making the tournament. And second of all, what was your reaction upon seeing the, uh, the, the team's path, the team's matchup uh, in the first round? Kind of a special one. Uh, I don't know about special. I wasn't very happy about it, that's for sure. Uh, they're playing as well as anyone in the country um, right now. I was, I was actually thinking they had a chance to get the fourth one seed, if not a definite two seed. Right. I have no idea how they're a four seed. It, it's just one of the biggest shocks I've seen since I've been involved in college basketball. All right, but the, uh, your, your school is playing good basketball right now, coming off of a conference tournament championship. Where do you feel like Manhattan is playing well right now? Uh, where are you confident in the execution? And what is going to be job one in preparing to play against a very, very tough Louisville Cardinals team? Well, I think we're doing some good things on our end. You know, I think what we're doing a good job of is our style of play. We're really getting teams to play kind of on our terms is how we put it. Um, and that's something we did a good job of in our conference tournament to get teams to really play uh, we're coming in with a defensive mindset of trying to really take away what you do well and make you go to your kind of plan B or C and not letting you come at us with your A game or, or utilizing your what you do best, so to speak. Um, Louisville poses a lot of matchup issues for us in a variety of ways, um, besides the obvious of them just being a terrific team and uh, with a you know obviously a Hall of Fame coach and Rick Pitino. Um, you know, their style, one of the things that is a big strength of ours is our style. It's not very many teams are familiar with it problem with this matchup is is Louisville plays a very similar style right so they know our style very well um so that's where it's it's, it's a little tough at times and we have to understand that but that being said we got to come in with a defensive mindset of what we're going to do and understand our game plan understand what they do well and not let them do what they do so to speak and i know that sounds kind of remedial and obvious but it, it, it's really that's what it comes down to and that's a lot easier said than done you mentioned Louisville being familiar with Manhattan's style, but that also means that you are familiar with Louisville's style and how to play against that. Uh, what is, is there something that you can take away from your experience, not even simply coaching for Coach Patino, but also for being exceedingly familiar with Louisville's players, or at least some of their players? Is there, is there any advantage, is there any confidence that you have based on having more than, more than enough knowledge of this Louisville team? And, uh, you know, it's funny, it's one of those things because you know it so well, it might actually, uh, you know, it's like, wow, they're, they're this good, you know. But on, on the flip side of that, it, it's what I do understand is, you know, really what they like, what they don't like, and those type of things. And, you know, it's one thing for me to know it, and I can know as much as I want. It's another thing for us to go out and do it, and that's what we have to concentrate on. Uh, me knowing it doesn't really mean much. Being able to, um, you know, convey that to my players and my players being able to carry that out on the court. Uh, you know, I think the whole country knows what Louisville likes to do. Everyone knows they're a great pressure team. They want to turn you over. They want to get to the three-point line. They want to get out in transition. Um, everyone knows that. That That's no secret. Right. But no one's been able to stop that. Um, so, I mean, do I know Russ Smith a little better than the next guy? Yeah, maybe. Do I know Wayne Blackshear a little bit better than the Navy? next guy? Yeah, maybe. But I don't know if that really matters because they're so good at what they do. Um, you know, it's very, very hard to stop them. All right, Coach, well, we're rooting for you. It's March. All sorts of fun things always happen, and you have a legitimate star in Mr. Beeman, and uh, good luck this week. Uh, I think a lot of people are expecting a lot of big things from Manhattan, actually. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. All right. Thanks, Coach. There he is. That's Coach Steve Massiello.